Namaste, great afternoon. Well, I had somebody ask some questions, so I'm just going to read them out and do a video rather than just answer them in the, uh, by typing. So, anyway, <clears throat> Guru Swamiji, please let me know what you think on these questions. Do you believe enlightened beings are incapable of having sex? Now, if this is not one of the most ridiculous questions, I've why in the world would you think enlightened beings are incapable of sex? You're still in a body, okay? You're still in the vehicle, and the vehicle still functions the same as it functioned before, okay? So of course one is capable of having sex. Okay, that's ridiculous. You think you lose it? It's taken away? You think with enlightenment, all of a sudden you're less? Think about it, okay? The body doesn't change. Enlightenment, the consciousness changes. Let me say that again. In enlightenment, the body doesn't change. What changes is the consciousness. Okay, so number two, do you believe enlightened beings should not have sex? If so, why? It depends, okay? Do you believe sex is sin? Look, I'm gonna put it this way. If you are a guru, because I know you're setting it up for this, okay? If you are a guru, and if you have taken a vow of celibacy, then yes, it's wrong to have sex. If you are trading on that fact, okay? And you are claiming to be a sannyas or a sattvi, and you're having sex behind the scenes, then you're a liar, you're a cheat, you're a con person, okay? Then you're not an enlightened being. Okay, let me say that again. If you are claiming celibacy, okay, and I can only speak for myself, you know, that type of an urge falls away. It's not of grand importance. Could you have sex? Of course, the body functions, of course, good. Is it enticing? No. Okay? It's not enticing. Personally, I'd rather see people with their clothes on than their clothes off. Okay? <laughs> it's a body. Okay? That's all. There are things way more important than sex, way more attractive than sex. Now, if you're being driven by sex, you're being driven by duality and body and nonsense, okay? In realization, one is in that consciousness of that one. One's not really out there really seeking for another. If it came along, there's no reason you couldn't, if that were your choice. But it's not like there is a hole and there is lack and it's something one has to go fill, okay? But again, if you are in a position of responsibility as a guru and you are using it as a way to procure sex saying I'm enlightened if you have sex with me it will aid your journey then that eye is reprehensible it's heinous it's dark it's disgusting okay 
And that is not a realized being. That is a con person. Conning people into having sex. Okay. So this idea, you know, people want to come out and try to set you up and say, well, is sex sin? It is if you say you're celibate and you're a position of responsibility and you're conning people into having sex behind the scenes all the while, all the while you're still telling people you're celibate, then yeah, it's a sin, okay? Let me be clear on that. Then yes, it's a sin because you're a liar. You're abusing people's trust, okay? You're lying about where you are in consciousness. You're lying about your actions, okay? So I hope that's answered your questions, okay? Can one enlighten have sex? Of course, the body still function. You're still in a form. That's it. The body's a vehicle. Okay? The vehicle didn't change. The consciousness changed. Is there any feeling of lack in realization that one wants to go chasing sex? No. Okay? Absolutely not. Okay? There's a vast difference between can one and does one want to and is it wrong? If they're an enlightened being, if they're not working with students and they want to go back and live a nominal life, go for it. What's to stop them? But again, if you are in a position of responsibility and you are telling the world you are a celibate and behind the scenes you're saying, come on, baby, let's go have sex and you'll get enlightened. Come on, just keep it quiet, you know. You're my gopies. Okay? There is nothing worse, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Again, the vast difference between can you, are you able to, and should one, okay? So thank you for your question. So again, very clearly, if you are in a position of power, saying you're a celibate, trading on the fact you're a celibate, and you go behind the scenes and have sex, yes, it's a freaking sin. Big sin, big lie, big cheat, okay? If you're not working with people, you want to go back, live a nominal life? Why not? Okay? But you can't present one way and be a liar, a cheat, wearing a mask in one second and having something else behind the scenes. What part of that is enlightened? Please tell me. Please explain to me how you can be two-faced and be enlightened. Would you like to explain that one to me? Please give me your rationalization how to make that play. If you're two-faced and a liar, then there's no realization. Okay, that I can guarantee you. If you're talking one thing, presenting this persona on stage and behind the scenes you're doing something else, 
not only are you not enlightened, you're not even a decent human being, okay? So again, something you might want to look at. If you're looking at gurus, you're seeing a lot of sexual impropriety and they're claiming enlightenment, think again, okay? So namaste, have a great evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in and see you online.